Okay, so this is the new one I did. It's the new release. This is actually the one, the actual original one. So it's on, it's on uh, very thin um, watercolor paper. what I wanted to show you. When I was on the phone with my oldest daughter, um, uh, you know, when I talk to them, I'm very happy and I doodle when I talk to them. I make faces or in this instance, I made flowers and I actually, there was something written under here, which I cannot read and I don't remember if I needed that or not. So, um, I kind of went over it so much that I can't read it, but I thought, okay, well, I did this and, um, you know, sometimes you do this doodling, you don't even know you're do doing it. Uh, and then after you're done, you're like, oh my goodness, I covered a whole page. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to color this in. It is done on, um, regular copy paper and, uh, I'm going to use it cut it out and use it as the top of her dress because I was thinking of I wanted to make her dress like with flowers and things and I thought well I have this so I am going to color this in really colorful or I may cut it out first and put it on her and then color it in so I'm going to get some tracing paper and trace over her um, dress the top part here and then um, you know make the pattern and then cut this out and then maybe then I will or I may do it all at once and then use the extra for other things so I have to see what I decide to do with that but I thought this would be fun to use um, since I doodled over the whole paper I don't want to throw it out it's kind of cool so maybe I'll do that in color pencil and um, have some fun with it I'll be right back Now I'm just going over with the marker to add black to it. I'm thinking of adding this sheet of doodle for the download so that when you purchase the little hippie girl, you get this sheet also with her. So I'm going to try and do that and this way you get a little bonus when you purchase the hippie girl. what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to scan it so I have it and this way if while cutting it hopefully I don't make a mistake but if I do I will have it. I scanned it and I printed it so now I have a bigger version of it which is really cool and I'm going to do some more to it, and uh, but I, now I have the original one on my computer, so if I mess this up, I can always go back and print. 
And you can print these sketches out as many times as you want. Once you download them, they're on your computer. So you can resize them and print them out on heavyweight paper if you want. If your printer allows you to use uh, watercolor paper, then print them on that. If you decide to uh, print them out and then transfer them onto a canvas with the uh, graphite paper then do that too uh, whatever however and whatever you want to do with them just have fun they're a great tool for you to explore mixed media girls and enjoy yourselves Okay, so I cut her out and I'm going to place her, I guess, right there, corner here. But I'm thinking I'm going to add some background to it and uh, then I have to work more on her once I get her down. as far as I've gotten with her. What I think is I'm going to use her for my cover, uh, my Dilutions journal. I'm just going to have to trim her just a little bit. But I definitely wanted a girl on, on the cover because that's mostly what's in here. So I think my little hippie gypsy is going to make it. She's going to do it. So I'm going to get that down on there after I finish. I have quite a few more layers and things I want to do to this, so um, definitely have to keep working on her hair. And I just think she's so precious. So, And I have this, let's see if I can still find it. I had it here and had it here. I broke my keychain, and this pretty heart is on it. I can't, um, the keychain is from Brighton. And I've had it for so many years, but the little heart came off. And I was going to put it back on the keychain, but I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to put it on here and give this, you know, a little pop of something. And then I still have this lovely little butterfly that I may use in here, too. And just see what I want to do with that. But that's where she's going. She's going to be my cover. It's funny how things happen, huh? And then the back, I think I'll just continue. Maybe put another girl. I don't know. Um, maybe put this same one in different colors and just put her on the back. I could do that. That may be something that I, I got to think about. But I thought she'd be a great cover for my book. She just came out so lovely. I love her. That was lots of fun. And I hope you use that idea of, you know, if you have any doodles that you doodle, because, you know, I... You just sit around and if you're talking on the phone or you're just thinking about stuff or, you know, whatever, um, take your doodle and make it into something. You know, I mean, you don't have to make it for the girl, but if you make flowers out of it or just incorporate it. So this way you have it and then you'll remember, you know, I doodled that. Now that I remember, I doodled when I was on the phone with my daughter Holly. But, you know, um, why, why not use your own? paper and your own doodles. I mean, I think it's so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you go purchase her and have fun for yourself. She's so sweet and I think you can do her a lot of ways. Um, definitely can, if you um, 
tra transfer her. You can transfer her without different parts of her or, you know, without the face. And you can do your own face if you want. But definitely use your, my, you can copy. I don't care. That's what these are for. These are for you to learn, to play with, to learn how to shade. So I am not worried about you copying them. So enjoy yourself and have fun. And all I want to do is inspire you to have fun. So until the next time, uh, and if you were inspired, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. I found the little heart and I glued it down on the cover. And it looks so precious. And this heart is old. I've had it for since a little banged up, but I don't care. I love it. And I'm so glad that I glued it down there. It looks so cool. And I used Wellbond glue. So hopefully it'll stay down for a while. And uh, so there you go. So many things you can incorporate into these pictures and have so much fun.